So, welcome to, uh, this is like episode nine of Duronki. And we're working on desktop UI. So we're pretty far through the designs. We're working on information design for uh, the thing that shows you what a deployment would look like. Uh, we got through yesterday a setup section for deployments that lets you sort of set the provider. And then we got into the Mac Daddy. We got into the uh, the thing that's the hardest, which is data visualization. So we've got the top part of it, which is sort of like a control system to uh, move your code base up there. You would slide this Star Wars Rebel symbol over, and and once it hits this thing, your code is gonna make its way onto AWS or whatever. So once it gets over there, it'll unbundle, and then you're gonna have to show all these stats on all these different components. Now. We were working down through this part, which is the, the statistics, and trying to figure out how to get all of these things, these six items, graphed out. Because these are timeline things, and like you're gonna need to see it over time. Okay, so if we think, what do we have to jam into this thing? We need to jam in a current plus a max plus a graph. This might get to be a lot of stuff on screen. So let's say we have this maybe goes up that tall and then we need to repeat it right across this thing. So we need a hundred of these. Now I'm going to simulate some differencing happening on this. My thought is to make them more indications and yeah, we'll need to change the color, but instead of getting into like too, too much with this, I just make it simpler if we can. So if that's the winner, and that is the winner, because I'm calling it the winner. We need to add two more things to this, right? So thing number one, we need to add a max. And thing number two, the current. So what is it currently at? All right, so we're gonna have to get, like that current, I think lives right here. I think this is the simplest one to do. I think it would read perfectly fine. So we'll say 88, per what is going on with that eight? That's just taking a trip. That is taking a trip to the left. And that one's taking a trip to the right. It's like they're going on a date together. What in the world? Eight, eight, eight? How many? Oh, no, it straightens out after two. So you get two of them funky. And then these two, they go where they're supposed to go. If we make it italic, will that fix it? No. I must have, did I do something to this? Did I like rotate the letters at some point? Because you can, you can just, for whatever reason, this is a thing you can do. I've never once in my entire design career ever done that. Okay, so if they wanted to make that bigger, they would just tap it. We're gonna go and do two more now to see what they're gonna look like. Well, okay, I think we're, we're just gonna move forward on it. So the second one is disk usage. Okay, and then this one will be disk remaining. But for something like this, we're gonna try doing more blocky design. Yeah, 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 that's looking more like sort of how I envisioned it. Let's do another one of those things where we kind of simulate this a little bit better. Do shorter blocks, but still do blocks nonetheless. We'll say the swap looks more like the disc remaining. Yeah, I'll do something different for that. We'll show a spike just happening. Like swap is something I usually see at like zero until something actually flies. Ooh, that looks really cool. Where it, it breaks, it erupts through. That looks really cool. Okay, so our last one is bandwidth. Bandwidth is definitely series over time. Instead, you don't have a percentage, right? What you have is just general activity. And does anything else work like that? I don't think so. Disc remaining, that could be the other one. It might make sense to say that there's 12% remaining. It may make more sense to say that there's five gigabytes remaining. This may even make the most sense to just do like this. And then bandwidth becomes uh, probably looks a little bursty. So this probably in megabits per second. Uh, and then instead of having a 24 hour max, you're probably gonna have like 24 hour usage. Yeah, it looks weird though, but okay. So if we wanna just make sure we get this one thing kind of cranked out, right? And then we can always iterate another one here. Oh, you know what? Disk here is disk usage, crap. So that means there isn't a disk IO. It's this, it's the swap. Well, that's gonna make things a little bit different. 
we probably want to say what it is in terms of like box size. So the server specs, probably smart to list that. I probably want to know that. Okay, so we're always gonna have RAM cores and disks. disks. Um, we could take these and explode them. Okay, so I need to scale it. I probably want to see that word scale. I probably don't want to see like some idea of a word. Can I get away with this? Can I do it? Will people... <laughs> I want to. I want to do it so bad. But I feel like people can never... They never see these things because it's not common in UI. They'd be like, where's the button for it? And you're like, it's on the side of the thing. Well, I didn't see that. That's not where buttons are supposed to go. You're like, okay. Ah! Gross. I'm just curious. Like, so you probably want it in proximity to your stats here. Now again, maybe we're looking at this wrong and maybe I'm looking at this like a dummy and really it should just be a row of buttons. Like, do we just, do we do this? Are we gonna do this? Have we given up? Have we completely given up? I don't really know if that looks like a button. Well, let's not obsess over it. They're buttons. We can change them as long. I think I just want to get it like cohesed into the cohesed. Cohesed. Cohesed it into the design. Cohesed. I would love to know how many words I've just invented and just used. Okay. So there's one iteration of this. That's big. Like that's very big. Let's see if we can get the same thing built out tinier. I'm already liking this a little bit more. Okay, now this is the hard part. These are tiny enough where they could work, but we don't have enough space for them unless they get really tight. Let's try really tight. What does really tight look like? Please work. I'm just hoping, I'm holding out for this. I'm really hoping this works because uh, this would make everything easier to work with if it's smaller like this. Hmm. It's a very tight with the same style. Could we do that in five pixels? Because right now it's at 15. Let's give her a shot. So yeah, if we could fit five of these. Okay. So let me move this stuff off a little bit, but I think I'm starting to see a little bit of a light at the end of this tunnel here. No, it's too short. You just don't get a sense of scale. Out of these ones, you get a sense of scale, but they're also like three times as tall. And the question becomes, uh, like, do we, do we go back to this thing? Because I bet it would read. Come to me, Rastafarian. Gradient. I need your power. I need your strength. Oh, it's totally working. Are we this? Am I this stupid? Are we? This isn't a we thing. What have? Why have I forsaken us? F. It totally looks fine. Why don't we just do this from the freaking gecko? Yeah. I mean, look at that. That looks dope. That looks like a, like a really cool Linux. One of those Linux like process monitoring things you see on the sweet desktops.com. You know, I hate this bottom one. <laughs> Dang it. I hate it. I like, I like the rest of them though. I think they kind of look, I don't know, like sort of the way I kind of envisioned it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it right there guys. Uh, so I already have a good night. See you later.